Hi, welcome to Breathe Better with Elizabeth. I'm Elizabeth. Today I'm going to go over how to do chest percussion on your lungs to loosen up mucus and aid in the mobilization of the mucus so you can cough it out. So we're gonna do this through eight different positions that I'm going to go over with you. Um, the reason for the positioning is because you can actually let gravity help with moving the secretion. So um, you change positions in order to, for one, get different angles to get different parts of your lungs. And then two, like I said, to aid the secretions to the middle larger airways so that you can cough it up. So um, before we start, I will show you over here just so you kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about, um, there is the trachea. It's gonna branch out into the two sides of your lungs. So your right lung has three lobes and your left lung has two. Um, that way, kind of go by that whenever I'm showing you the different ways to lay and percuss. Now also with the percussion, you're gonna make sure that your hand is cupped kind of like this. This will be the flat surface here. When you start to pat vigorously, just like this, you can kind of hear that hollow sound. That's the sound you want to hear. Now I'm going to demonstrate with no hollow sound. It's just like clapping, okay? That's what you do not want. You want the hollow sound, okay? Now, um, also, one thing that you do need to know is that if the person you're doing this for has any kind of blood clotting issue, then um, you do want to discontinue that. This is not something that you want to do if you have a blood clotting issue um, or if you have any kind of broken bones, obviously, um, that are going to be there. Um, you don't want to do it. Um, and then even if you have osteoporosis, or if you're coughing up blood. So there's a couple little random things there. Um, if you have any of those, you do not want to do this form of therapy, okay? Um, so the very first part is gonna be with the upper lobes, and I'm gonna show you on my nice little helper here, Liam. Um, you wanna make sure that you're not doing it over the clavicle right here, and you wanna do it just at the top of the chest. So I'm gonna start doing it here. Now with the upper lobes like this, I don't really need to move my hands a whole bunch because we're already by the large airway. So any mucus that's in the top of your lungs like this, more than likely you will be able to cough it up. Now you'll want to stay in one particular area about three to five minutes, depending on how much percussion you plan on doing. If you plan on doing the entire chest, then just three to five minutes in one spot is fine. Um, if you notice that you have secretions in one part of your chest versus another part, um, or you feel like you're not moving as much air on a certain side, then you wanna pay more attention and do more percussion on that area. So this, like I said, will be the first position, sitting up straight, upper lobes. Now, the next position is still gonna be upper lobes, but we're gonna do his back. Now to do this, I'm just gonna lay a pillow in his lap and he's gonna just gently lean over the pillow. If you cannot lean that far, that's okay. Just put the pillow there, lean as far as you can. Um, then from here, the percussor can either get on this side and do these upper lobes here, or you can get to the side and you can start off about mid back and then just work your way up because remember, we're working towards the larger airways so you can cough it up. So you would start about the middle and then you would just work your way up. Now, um, make sure that the person you're percussing knows to let you know if they are not comfortable. Um, that's another thing you have to watch out for. If this hurts at all, you need to tell somebody because you are not supposed to do this over an area that is sore. So um, that's, another, that's another part of that. Um, so the first two positions, like I said, sitting up straight upper lobes, and then this position, leaning over, starting around mid back and percussing towards the larger airway. So then once you've done that, you can sit up nice and tall 
And this would be a really good time to try to cough and see if you can cough anything up. Now, um, I'm going to let Liam climb onto this mattress for me so that I can show you the other positions. While he's doing that, I wanna bring attention to the board here. Um, I have put some tips on here that can help you to thin your mucus and help you cough them out. So basically you wanna stay hydrated, drink water, drink lots of liquids, um, try to limit your caffeine. This is going to thin out mucus. Pineapple juice is awesome at thinning out mucus and coughing it up. So drink pineapple juice every day. Um, steam therapy, and then you could also hang eucalyptus in your shower. And every time you take a shower, it's just going to open your airways there. So those are just a couple of pointers for loosening mucus. Now, so this will be the third position with the upper lobes. So same thing, you want to start right, you don't want to start mid chest on the top because obviously this is where the ribs are. Now you can percuss over ribs, but you wanna do that on the sides and on the back, not really in the front. So up here, I'm just gonna go up to his chest area. Same thing with the cupped hands. And you're just gonna pat vigorously here. So he doesn't have a lot of room for me to move my hands here, but you wanna try to make sure that you're moving towards the larger airway never percuss over the trachea. So this area right here, that's his, what some people call a windpipe. So obviously you want to stay away from that area. You wanna just stay on the chest, okay? So you could do one side for about five minutes and then switch sides. So let's say that the mucus that we're trying to get rid of is not in the upper lobe. Let's say it's in the middle lobes or in the bottom lobes. So um, I'm gonna have Liam roll over to one side and we're gonna put his arm over his head. And this is gonna give us access to this area right here. So you wanna start off, you don't wanna go as low as the lower ribs because you need to make sure that you never percuss over any organs. So. You don't wanna do over the stomach, you know, you've got your kidneys. So you wanna stay around mid sternum here and you start with the percussion and you wanna move it to the top. So you start here, move it to the top. So you just picture moving the mucus, you're breaking it up right here and now you're going to move it to the larger airways. So once you do the side here, have the person um, put a pillow right here and then have them roll over just a little bit and we're going to get this area right here. Same thing, so we're just going to focus on this one area and we're going to move it to the larger airways. Once you get to the top, you just go back to the bottom and start it all over. Sometimes you get out of rhythm. It's best to not talk while you do it so that you can keep a good rhythm, but I'm talking, so you just have to bear with me here. Um, so this covers the left side, so that's left lower, left upper. Now we're going to work on the right lung, which has three lobes. Okay, so we're gonna get the area right here. Start off about mid chest. Loosen it up and then we're gonna move it to the larger airways. So we've done that. Now we're going to do the back part here. So you want to just lean over a little bit with some stability right here underneath your chest. And we're gonna work on this right middle lobe here. And we're gonna move it to the larger airways. So you're gonna move up into the center. Now, the very last one 
is laying flat on your stomach with a pillow underneath the bottom part of your chest. So raise up just a little bit and I'm gonna put it there. Okay, there. Then we do the lower lobes from here. And we'll just move it up. And the other side. So as you can see, I'm doing a very condensed version here. And that's just so I can show you everything without making you go through a full 30 minutes of doing the percussion. Um, okay, now you can sit up. Once you're done doing the percussion, the patient can sit up. You have them taking some nice big deep breaths in through their nose, out through their mouth, and then force them into a really strong cough to see if you can get those secretions up. Now, I recommend that you do this um, before you eat breakfast in the morning. That's a great time to do it because you've laid all night and mucus can get stuck in your airways. Um, and then you can also do it before you go to bed, as long as you've given yourself at least two hours after dinner or whatever your last meal is before you do it. Um, so CPT, which is what this is called, chest percussion, and then PNPD, which is the percussion and postural drainage, those combined with different things that can help loosen up your mucus, like pineapple juice, um, water, you can really do a lot of stuff at home just by using those things that you have access to. If you have any questions, please just put them down in the comments. Um, if you know of some other ways that you find really useful for getting mucus out of your chest, put that in the comments too, because I think that it would be good for everybody to learn about it um, and share their ideas. So if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, subscribe and share my videos so that it can reach more people. Thank you.